Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has named nine new people to the Senate. Five women, four men are not affiliated with any political parties. And the host of Power Play, Don Martin, joins me now for this. Okay, Don, let's talk about who these new senators are. Okay, well, there's a real mix uh, of experts. Uh, you've got First Nations advisors, you've got people involved with Asia Pacific Foundation, psychiatrists that dealt with um, uh, palliative care patients. Uh, it's, a, it's quite an impressive list. Human rights activists, uh, Francophone activists. Um, so all these people are the result, Aaron, of a very unique new process here that you apply to become a senator. You're no longer just picked out of the ruling party's gold-plated membership card list. Um, these people are, are assessed on merit uh, instead of uh, party loyalties. So this is the first uh, big dump of uh, names. There's still 12 to go. Um, so uh, it's, it's a very uh, unique uh, ch change for how the Senate will be appointed. Yeah, and that's, I mean, really, that's a I, really I, big change, Don. Can you kind of put a finer point on, on what we're seeing? Well, you are seeing uh, an independent body of senators take control of the Red Chamber. Uh, they are going to be able to overrule uh, if they vote as a block. Now, being independents, they're sort of like cats and they don't herd well together. But uh, they could uh, judging, uh, judge legislation by its merits alone and make that happen. Um, liberals and conservative diehards are just going to have to sit and watch this, uh, this new group uh, take control of this chamber. So it, it's what the Senate was initially intended to be. Uh, sober second thought thinkers as opposed to partisan hacks. Uh, so uh, it's a revolution and, and it's probably a good thing. And we're expecting to hear some more names in the coming days as you have pointed out before. Don another, Martin. Another dozen. Okay. Don Martin, well, I love your turns of phrases, always herding cats. Uh, thanks for this. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Aaron.